Hey everybody, this is Josh with Hello Auto and today we're going to be comparing the 2024 Subaru Impreza Sport to the 2024 Kia Forte GT. So let's get into it. So over here with the 2024 Subaru Impreza Sport, we have a few key differences between the Kia GT line. Now for starters, the whole car itself has an uplifted feel. You have slightly thinner LED headlights that go a bit more up whereas the other ones are a bit more down. You do have a bigger front grille on top, but a smaller front grille on bottom. You have round fog lights, and you have 18 inch rims, which are really nice because they come with these rubber band type of style tires, which are perfect for when you want more grip on the road. So over here in the front of the 2024 Kia Forte GT, we can see those aforementioned differences, right? You have slightly bigger front headlights, a slightly smaller upper grille, a slightly larger bottom grille, these cool red accented lines next to the straight fog lights, whereas those again were circle fog lights. And we have these aerodynamic cuts in the bumper, which are really nice. Now, both cars have 18 inch rims and they have the same size tire, which is really nice because you're going to get a similar feel between both of these cars when you're on the road. Now, over here in the engine of the 2024 Subaru Impreza Sport, we have a two liter four cylinder engine with 152 horsepower. Now, some people might say, oh, it's a little bit of horsepower, but you have to consider this car is small and very agile. So that 152 horsepower goes a long way. Over here with the 2024 Kia Forte GT, we have a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine making a whopping 201 horsepower. Now, again, I say whopping because of how small this car is, you really feel it when you're trying to accelerate on a highway, on a road, anywhere. It's really cool. It feels very sporty. And again, it's a little bit faster than the Subaru Impreza. Now here in the front of the 2024 Subaru Impreza Sport, we have some cool things going on. For starters, this steering wheel is very rugged. It feels very nice and has a nice grip to it. You have manual paddle shifters when you want to control the feel of your car and the transmission. You have an 11.6 inch touchscreen display, which is really nice. It has Subaru Starlink system, which has Apple and Android Auto. You have a very basic shifter over here, but it's nice because you don't have to have too much going on. Park, reverse, neutral, and drive. That's all you really need to get around. Now the seats are cloth, which again, I really like because in the summer it gets really hot and you don't want to burn your skin. And in the winter it gets super cold and you want to freeze yourself. So these cloth uh, seats are very nice. I personally really like them. And overall, the front in here of the Subaru Impressa Sport has a bunch of space and I really like it. I'm comfortable, the seats are welcoming, and I have everything I need to get around comfortably. Now over here on the front of the 2024 Kia Forte GT, you have a little bit more going on for starters. The steering wheel has a matte finish to it with a flat bottom, which is really nice because it gives it a sporty look. And as you look around over here in the front, it has a lot more of a sporty and an upscale look than in the Subaru Impreza Sport. Now furthermore, the steering wheel has a bunch of different buttons so you could choose your music, feel comfortable, have your lane departure on or off, change the mode, anything else that you need. The infotainment display is 10.25 inches and it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We have dual climate, which I cannot reiterate how nice it is to have this in a car because sometimes the passenger loves for it to be cold or warm and the driver feels different about that. Your shifter is a bit more updated than the Subaru Impreza with a leather finish to at the bottom and a bit more of an upscale look to it. Overall, both of these front interiors are very nice. I personally prefer the Kia Forte GT so far. However, we're gonna see if that changes in the back. Now over here in the back of the 2024 Subaru Impreza, we have a lot less going on. It's very basic back here, and it's just what you need to get from point A to point B. You have a cup holder on the door, leather grab handle on the door, a door speaker, and not much else going on back here. On the back of the driver's chair, we don't have a pocket. We do have one on the passenger side chair. There's no charging ports back here. You do have cup holders, kind of small, very basic design, but it still gets you comfortably for where you need to go. Now over here in the back of the 2024 Kia Forte GT, we have a lot more going on than the Subaru Impreza. For starters, we have a leather door handle that goes the whole way through. We do have a slightly smaller cup holder on the door, but a slightly bigger speaker. You have cargo area on the back of the passenger side chair, none on the driver's side chair, just like in the Subaru Impreza. You still have cup holders, but these are slightly smaller. Now the biggest difference between both of these interiors and the rear is this one has two AC fans, and a USB-A port. Now the AC fans are nice because you can choose whether or not you want it in your face or on your legs and whether or not you even want anything hitting you at all. That's really nice because it keeps your passengers comfortable and it keeps everybody calm on a long car ride. Now over here in the back of the 2024 Subaru Impreza Sport, 
you have a lot more cargo area. And that's gonna obviously have a lot more than the Kia Forte because this car is a hatchback, that car is a sedan. So do consider that when you're comparing these two cars. You have 60-40 folding chairs that gives you a lot more space than the already a large amount of space that you have. Furthermore, Subaru includes a roadside emergency kit that has various important things such as batteries and a first aid kit and anything else you need to stay safe in the case of an emergency. You do have a lot of cargo space that is also organized for you and you do not have a spare tire in this car but you do have a tire inflator and a tire repair kit that can keep you safe in case of any emergency. Now over here in the back of the 2024 Kia Forte GT, you have a surprising amount of space. In my opinion, you can fit about three or four airport full-size luggage bags and you can fit a few more backpacks if you needed to. This makes it very nice when you're traveling with people, friends, family, anything else like that. You have a bunch of space over here in the cargo area where the spare tire resides. So if you need to carry some extra supplies such as emergency jump cables, uh, an emergency jump pack, anything else, you could store that down here. And last off, it comes with a 16 inch spare tire, so keep that in mind for any emergency. Considering everything we went over today on the 2024 Subaru Impressa Sport and the 2024 Kia Forte GT, which of these two cars is the best suit for you?